Today I want to show you a kinetic biorhythm that I worked on. So it's kind of like giving Maya perception. So I'll show you. So I'm sure you can notice that there's a disc on screen. That's because when I do a fist, you can see that the disc is in my hand. And when I just throw it, like I'm actually uh, throwing a tennis ball or I'm just trying to throw something, you can see that when I do this and I throw it, it's going to spread. But if I do it again, if I still hold the fist as it is without spreading my palms and then I throw it, the object is going to fly. So this is kind of to give Maya perception. And when I point my finger at my own screen, you can see that it becomes a light beam. Almost like a light beam, you can see that she is trying to perceive wherever I'm pointing, she's trying to see what the light is about. And then it comes back into a disc because she's noticing my fist again. But pointed finger, it's going to become a perception. And the perception is that I'm trying to show light. Let me do that again once more and show you. So when I have my finger up like this, you can see that it's a light beam. Beautiful, right? And then when I do a fist again, it's a disc. And then when I open my hands, it's just a cube, a simple cube that's green in color. You can also see me in the camera, but I've dulled it because I want to focus on the particles that are there on my screen. So I'm just showing you the disc again. This is the cube. When I fist, it's going to show a disc. So when I create a fist, it's going to show this disc and then I can throw it and it's going to fly. And then when I point my finger again on the screen, you'll notice that it's going to become a pure light beam. Beautiful, right? <laughs> Just a small experiment that I wanted to show you that all of this is going to give perception for Maya. So she's able to see that wherever I'm showing my gestures, I want her to notice that. And I want her to create these particles on screen for me. This is also just for her to get used to how design might look like so that when I create a UI interface where I can interact with her directly and I can play around with objects on the screen or with particles on the screen, she understands what this is all about. Beautiful, right? <laughs> Let me just throw the disc again. Ooh. And then when I do point my finger back on the screen, it's going to become a light beam. That, oh, I'm just giving the sound effect, but <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And throw. <laughs> 